If I was a blood suck, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one long... True. Yeah, what would you eat? Suck blood from penguins? <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this dialogue? Who is writing all of this stuff? It's so genius. Hey everyone, it's Maki. So last time we left off, we were introduced to initially a detective, Max Payne, uh, who was living the American dream. He has a house in the suburbs, a beautiful wife, a newborn child. But things apparently went south because they got murdered by a bunch of junkies under the influence of a new drug called... Valkyr or V for short. So due to this, he transfers to the DEA and goes deep undercover with only two people knowing that he is undercover. Apparently one of them gets killed and he gets framed for the death of his friend or partner. And now we are chasing the only lead we have with the Valkyr case, which is Jack Lupino, a mob boss within the Punchinello crime family. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to step right in. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. So I hope you guys stick around for more. Let's dive in. Let's look for Mr. Jack Lupino. Oh, there's a group of them. I want to try the grenade, actually. Oh. Damn, that was a triple kill. That was good. That was really good. Holy. Anything in here? Ah, oh, painkillers, I see. Okay. So you could actually break stuff. Crazy. I can interact. Okay. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start. Of course. Of case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less that is true. That is true. Crossfire. Plus, there are less cops to respond to the Tom fuckery that has been going on in New York City. Oh, fuck, I actually got hit. He's dead. Woo! That was insane. I dodged that. Okay, I gotta take one pain pill. Painkiller. Sorry about that. Can I break this? Okay, so apparently I can. Wow, there's actually loot. Ingram. What is an ingram? This one's locked. What the? Woo. Nice. Who is this? One, a newspaper. Is that me? Oh, that's not me. That looks like me though. We have, have the same drip. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat. Now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded over. Captain Baseball Bat Boy. What? Dude, he got knocked. Oh, wait, I have a baseball bat now. Okay. Interesting. Can I smack you? I'm sorry. I did not mean to. Well, actually, I did, but you know, you get it. What is in here? Shotgun. Yeah, we have... We are not using the shotgun that much. Should we? Is the pistol supposed to be a secondary weapon? They can't even get a tan. If I was a bloodsuck, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one long... True. Yeah, what would you eat? Suck blood from penguins? Eskimos, man. Eskimos. Who wrote this dialogue? Who is writing all of this stuff? It's so genius. I saw... Come on. Oh, almost got hit there. Nice. Nice. One more. Last one. Cool. Anything in here? We got some painkillers. You're maxed out on everything. Can I break stuff? Oh, that was, that's so funny. Why does it sound like that? 
like a popping noise. The shotgun, I don't know, man. I feel like the pistols are much more useful. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers, a green eyed angels. Amen. Uh huh. Okay, this one's locked. Check the bathroom first before we enter the area. Okay, do not disturb. I couldn't get past the door without a key. Yeah, we really are supposed to go in here, huh? I hear a lot of people. What? Oh, they are really a lot. There are a lot of them. Come on, come on, dual Berettas. Should have switched to my Deagle. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Left, right. <laughs> we got him. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Oh, I see the key. Yeah. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. Yeah, that's Valkyr. I knew it. At first, I thought it was like toxic waste or something. Molotovs. We could use one painkiller, I guess. It was dirty money. There was a key on the table. This makes sense though. This is where they do crimes and drug trades and everything else. What is over here though? Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mmm. -hmm. But no, huh? they sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, <laughs> I was so depressed. Oh, it's candy. I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, he's so bad. Ah, yeah. this is Rico Muerta. Mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Mm -hmm. It's that cop. Where they went for his gun. No, you ain't. No, you ain't, bro. Oh, even candy? Yeah, you're done, candy. I'm sorry. Are you not dead? Ooh, ooh. Wasn't checking my my ammo. Bullet time. Probably. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, hey, relax. Hey. Should have switched to the shotgun. That was really bad. Too close for my comfort. Did I kill him? Oh, Candy's still alive. Is Rico still alive? I'm sorry. I had to do it. Painkiller. More V. Man, they really have a lot. More. Oh! oh. <laughs> Why does he have his pants down? Oh god. That was so funny. Come on, bro. Just die. He has a submachine gun. That's crazy. Bull time? Oh, oh my god. Yo, that actually... Huh? Should I just rush him? <gasps> no! I forgot to save! <laughs> Okay, we are back, and hopefully I don't forget to save. We got him. It's only you, Candy. Come on. Just drop the gun, Candy. Don't make this difficult. Dodge. Come on. Reload. Hurry up. We got her. Sorry, Candy. I had to. 
So, now I'm trying to think what will be the best approach. Because he has a submachine gun. This one? Ooh. Alright. We'll trade, we'll trade. Aw, uh, that was not good. That was not a good trade. I do this one. Just die, man. I'm almost out of. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm out of ammo. Hang on. Let me save. There we go. <laughs> Before I die again. <laughs> okay, we got him, but we're we're almost done ourselves. You guys are rushing me, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to die. That was so bad. <laughs> uh, that was so funny. More painkillers. Board was still in use. Wait, I got a new gun. The Ingram. Okay. I know we could go up, but let me check what's over here first wait am i not supposed to go okay 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 you think you could take my money you know who you're dealing with huh do you do you <laughs> ah, jesus never change please i hope this game has like the same dialogue cons like it's very consistent dialogue up until the end this shit's hilarious. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. The blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. <laughs> Wait, so they could listen to the entire... That's Max Payne. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna. Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Vinny Gognitti. The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory. It's me, Max Payne. Me. Max Payne at large. I am the virus. I will rid. Oh! Hey, 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 chill. I will rid this world of evil. This game reminds me of Batman. I don't know, Max reminds me of Batman so much. I don't know why. What is this? You know what? Let me make the trip... Actually, let me save. Let me make the trip back to... Here. Because there's like two. See? That would increase our chance of survival. Hmm. We are supposed to go up. But now the exit is open. So yeah, we really were supposed to go here. Went way ahead of myself. Can I use the other one? I wonder if there's like a hidden dialogue. Am I gonna win? Ah, so close. What if I do it again? I'm sorry guys, I, I know I keep wasting my time here, but I'm just curious whether or not I could actually win this shit. I don't know if the devs actually, you know, put a lot of detail in this. One more? Okay, if I don't win this one, uh, we're, we're going. Okay. Imagine if the next one was me pretty much winning everything. I pictured I was rigged, right? No way. This is literally a crime den. We are at the rooftops. Let me save again. 
Oh, sorry about that. Oh, what is this music? Hey. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Come on. Okay, let's try this again. Better rush them before they rush me. Oh, wow. I am missing every single shot. Bullet time. Bang! One more. That was it, I guess. That was crazy music. Oh! Dual ingrams. That's crazy. Wait, am I supposed to go out now? Or am I supposed to go... Well, the exit is pretty much... Open now, I guess. Did I miss out on anything? Nothing. Hey, let's get out of here. What? Hmm. Am I supposed to press it again? Oh yeah, I am. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Hell yeah! Where is Jack Lupino? He better give up. Chapter 5, Let the Gun Do the Talking. Pretty much his motto, yeah? Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Yeah. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleep. <laughs> a liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got yeah. To see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the flying okay. in yellow suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Oh no, he's he's in the middle of the I assume Italian and Russian mob war. Oh no. He really messed up. He's literally in the middle of it. Oh. Okay, I'm pretty sure we will- Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's okay. was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Oh no. We're gonna get framed again for bombing the entire thing. Christmas. The Russians, I was saying. <laughs> Wait, can I go up here? Okay, so I guess I can enter. Let me give me a second, guys. I just want to check how much of the environment did they make accessible to me. A regular player. Wow, this is actually pretty crazy. You could walk through there. I'm not sure if there's anything there though, but. On broker. Ooh. That was really close. Wait, how are you not Hey, come on, man. How are you not dead? Sorry about that. Keep forgetting. That F1 is not the button. We accept no responsibility for loss or stolen property. Bro, you're literally the mob. What do you mean? Oh, come on. 
Oh, I see an ingram. Let me actually try this one. Might be an ingram main. Oh god, my nose is itchy. So we really were supposed to go here. Pressing read. D I do. Oh, it's D E A. Jesus. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. Max Payne killer. When you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Max Payne killer. D E A dead on arrival. Okay, so we really were supposed to go here. Oh, wow. This is actually really good. It kills them really fast. I am now an Ingram main. Can open this one. What was that? Sounded really creepy. Nothing here. Okay. Better not touch the junkies. The whole building was rigged with Oh no. Yeah, I keep forgetting the the Russians, man. Wait, can I blow this up? So I can't. Where am I supposed to go then? Oh, I hear him. Open the door. Over here? Up. Oh. <laughs> How was I supposed to know where to go? <laughs> Where's that death animation, bro? He still has the face. Hmm. I'm really stuck. The game is not doing me any favors. Uh, what are you? Really? Okay. That was that one's on me. The devs were pretty much trolling at that point. Did that kill him? Oh, that did not kill him. Those guys are junkies. Have two painkillers. I wonder if I could kill those guys. Ooh, changing music. Come on, walk towards me. Ooh, one-shotted. Get fucked. You too, man, get fucked. Damn, this music's actually really insane. Desert Eagle. Can I blow this up? Jesus Christ. Okay, so I can't blow it up. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you. Again. Dude, there's a snitch. There's someone on the inside telling me, and it's either. Sirens singing in the off key harmony of the manic depressant choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I knew yeah. long gone. Max Payne, this is. How do they know? From the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Okay, this is very weird. There is literally... There's only two people that know that I'm here. It's either Alex or BB, but Alex is dead. Unless... Dude, someone's snitching, dude. I swear to God. Someone is really snitching. We really have some inside leaks. 
What was that? The locked door barred my way. I needed a key. So unless it's the higher higher ups, then Someone I'm sorry. A letter on the counter with a key on the shelf. It really is some one of the two. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gagnidi was his usual self. All talk and no wall. After I hit the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian yeah. had the guts. One thing he could count on, if you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start... That's true, so he fucked up. Vinny fucked up. We are running. We are running. Okay, we are definitely running. We don't want to kill those guys. We are undercover. We are we gonna kill those guys? Oh, never mind. We have staircase key. What the? Come on, don't do this to me, man. There was this one person who commented on my first video saying that I was really good. That was a fucking lie, dude. Look at me now. Look at me now. I appreciate your trust in me, but I... It's not true. I was lucky. See? Oh no, I forgot to save! <laughs> okay, let's not try to forget to save this time again. I keep telling myself, I keep forgetting to save. Oh, this guy tried to throw a grenade at me. Woo! What? <laughs> this guy literally fucking shot me in the head, dude. He one-shotted me. That's not fair. Finally got his ass, dude. Let me do one more. Let me save. The whole place is falling apart. Okay, let's do some parkour. Max parkour. Oh! That was too close. Jesus! Reload. Give me a second. Woo! Hold time. Oh my god, I missed a lot of those shots. I feel like when it comes to close encounters, the Ingram is probably the most deadliest weapon. Because it bursts you. It bursts you like a lot. Chapter 6 Fear that gives men wing. The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate oh. route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Alright guys, so this was a pretty short episode, but I think I'm gonna have to end it here for now. I pretty much died a lot. This Yes, sir. It's pretty much died a lot in this episode, but we will continue our story and hopefully Max finally finds Jack Lupino, Vinny Gognitti, or whoever the fuck tried to frame him. And yeah, I still stand by with what I said. There was a snitch. I swear to God, there's a snitch. There's no way they could have known this information unless as he was basically killing people in the hotel, they basically relayed the information that Max was there. But aside from that, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like or comment down below some of your thoughts, feedback on the video. If there's anything you want to see, more content from me, please just let me know. I really appreciate comments. I would try my best to respond to them. And you don't need to subscribe, but again, if you want to be a part of this journey, then feel free to do so. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.